Well, hello there, my darlings. Happy Friday to you and welcome to Let's Build. <sighs> welcome to part two of Crookdown Theatre. We've named it. I kind of enjoyed that name. I was like, hmm, he is slightly, Jerry is sli slightly a crook. So is the other orphans that are living with him, but they're good people. They're good people. They absolutely love each other. And I thought crook down sounded really cool. And I thought I was here for it. So I was. Now, thank you guys for all of your amazing sims that you put up on the gallery. They, I had so much fun reading through all of them and seeing which ones I really loved. It got quite difficult. I was like, God, I like quite a lot of these. A lot. Um, and I couldn't only pick two. I'm sorry, I picked four. I picked four. We're going to pick another two next week to kind of move into this place. Um, but I picked four that I thought would fit into this family really lovely. Uh, they, I love the stories behind them. I love their styling. And I just thought that they would really, really mix into this um, wayward family quite easily. Um, I'm going to be carrying on with this as well on Monday. I usually do kind of Sims Medieval on Monday. But I just want to build up a few more of these Let's Build episodes because I just want to get this storyline flowing for Strangerville and I want to get the storyline flowing, flow, flowing for Crookdown Theatre. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into game and I'm going to introduce you to the Sims that I've chosen for Crookdown Theatre. So here we are, my loves. Jerry, can you shut up, please? I can hear you in the background. Thank you. First up, these are the four sims that I've chosen for this part. Um, I really, really love these. This one is from Sims Jar, with an underscore there, and he is called Rusty Myers. Um, Rusty's life has been full of tragedy. His mum passed away from an illness when he was three. His father was a fisherman in Brindleton Bay, but recently his sea charter was found abandoned in the ocean and he was declared lost at sea. Worried that child services would ship him off to his mean aunt, Rusty decided to run away from Bridgerton Bay. His sights were set on Delso Valley, but he took a wrong turn and ended up in Strangerville. Jerry keeps tries to keep Rusty out of trouble, but the lad always seems to find himself in the centre of turmoil. Can Jerry guide this lost soul? He, su he survived by swiping food and sleeping in the abandoned power plant. That's where Jerry found him and brought him to the theatre. Oh, I love him. He's so cute. So yeah, in, he is a bit of a rambunctious scamp and he's a little bit erratic as well. So I kind of really wanted to get him in the mix. So well done to Simsha. I absolutely loved the Sim. I did. Next one is from Grandpa's Knees. I love that. Um, and this is Rebel against the system. I think Rebel's name is Mind Your Business or she's not disclosing her surname, which I really, really loved. Loved that. And I just think she's absolutely gorgeous as well. Skimbo indeed, Jerry. Now shut up. Yes. Sharuna indeed. Rebel certainly lives up to her name. That's why she gave herself it. Ask her her last name. It ain't your business. Mess with her or her friends. You won't live to tell the tale. Or so the locals think. In reality, Rebel just wants to find a place that she fits in. A place to call home. And once she finds it, she will fight tooth and nail to keep it. A bit of a mother bear and jaded with the world. She gives great advice, but mostly teaches the young ones how to get up to mischief. I love that. I thought that was so cool. Um, so Grandpa's niece, thank you so much for the sim. She's going to fit in so well. She's got the big happy family aspiration. And she's also good with a hot-headed trait as well. I just thought lovely. Fits into the mix. And she's obviously a teen. And I've picked two more teens here as well. I'm going to pick two more children the next time. Just so we've got a kind of fair balance between them all. Um... Oh, Jerry. Now, this is techie. I, abs I absolutely love them. Um, For it to be in the middle of nowhere, Jerry, I am literally going to slap your beard off your face in a minute. Strangerville's Wi-Fi is crazy good, which makes Charlie ec ec ecstatic. Ever since they could remember, they've been building things and tearing them apart from pickup trucks to sound equipment. It didn't matter. That's why they're so excited. The old man is bringing back the theater. All that old tech just waiting for them to take apart. They has skills. They all them. Um, tech and sound and camera. So 
they are the kind of techie sound developer. Does They do all the staging and the lights and stuff as well. I love that idea. I thought that was so cool. So this is going to be a lovely member of the family. And maybe we could kind of make up their story because they didn't really come up a huge backstory, which again, kind of fills our need to kind of like broaden these storylines. Loved it. Love this one. So yes, welcome to the party. And then this one here. Oh, sorry. I completely forgot to say who your name was. And this is from MSPPEC. Mm, I I, thank you very much, my darling. I don't know if I'm supposed to spell that or say that out loud, but I, I can't. <laughs> and the next one is from Aqua Puffin. Oh, I absolutely love this sim. Um, Farah woke up in an unknown place with new and the story behind as well. With new mysterious tattoos. The last thing she remembered was eating dinner with her prolific scientist parents when they arrived. The rest is a blur. She, run she wandered around until she came nose to nose with a bloodhound. Sherlock led Farah to Jerry and the other kids. The rest is history. Now she does makeup for the hair. Makeup and hair for the shows. She may not have a family to return to, but maybe she has already found her forever home in the theatre. I love that. I love that idea and I absolutely love this sim as well. Um, they have got a nerd brain and they're also creative, but slightly paranoid as well, which kind of fits into her storyline too. So I absolutely love her. So we've kind of covered the kind of sound and the styling. Maybe, maybe, um... She could do the like stage de like design and stuff as well. And maybe Rebel kind of gets in on that too. I kind of like that idea. So there's a big joint effort with this feat. And obviously we've got Jerry to kind of help out as well. I'll give you a bit of a closer look at them. Um, we'll start off with obviously with Rusty. So this is Rusty right here. Very cute. Very cute. A nice red head to add, add into the mix. Love, love, love. This is Rebel Angel Business. I think she is absolutely beautiful. She is here. I have actually changed her shoes. I actually put some Doc Martens on her instead of the shoes that she came with. Just so, I don't know, kind of fit in with the character nicer, I thought. But yes, love it. And then we've obviously got Charlie. Love Charlie's choice of outfits. Obviously, they are non-binary. So, um, yeah, all of their outfit choices kind of reflect that. And I love it. I just think it's really, really nice. Love it. Love, love, love. Here for it. Really am. And obviously we've got the f finale with Farah. I think she's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous sim. Um, and again, comes in array. This is beautiful. Comes in array of some really lovely outfits too. And these are obviously the mysterious tattoos that she woke up with. Which we can develop that storyline a bit further as well. But yes! Thank you so much, guys. These sims are incredible. I can't wait to get them into this place. Um, but yeah, I think for now, let's get over to the build mode and we'll start doing the rest of the build. So, a few little details I obviously flopped in um, from last time. I've kind of put a few more plants at the front here. I've used this uh, ode. This could maybe be the original kind of fence that was here back in like the 1800s. And this is kind of maybe a new add-on from where it kind of just completely fell apart and they had to build a new one. Put a little bench out the front here, just a pile of barrels, just to, I don't know, bring this element into it again. Uh, all the odor element kind of looked. And I've also gone around and chose all of the windows, doors, and everything else, uh, including all of the old kind of like details, all the cracks and all of those businesses still got to do a few more pieces here and maybe underneath here a bit more as well. But it's slowly coming along. I also morphed these um, because you can't go right up to the edge with the kind of fence line. I ended up using these pulled what these little pool pieces. Um, but yeah, this is what we're going to concentrate on today. Now, I have gone on to the inside only downstairs just to get a floor plan kind of coming through. So this is kind of the main foyer kind of bar area with a little lounging place. I'm going to put some nice lounging chairs around. Um, and these are going to be the two kind of entrances into the main stage area, which we're going to start building now. Now, the main stage area, I think it should almost look a little bit art deco, like they kind of added it into the in the 1920s. Maybe this was the original kind of like staging area and then this was just where everyone would come in and sit straight away uh, Into here and this would have been the stage, but they kind of like 
when it was being made into a cinema, they kind of made this a little bit bigger, but it still kind of looks like a theater, if you know what I mean. Um, interestingly enough, I think you Americans call a cinema a theater. Am I right in that? Am I right in that? Because if so, it's very weird. <laughs> but, okay, so I do want like a, I'm going to do, right, we're going to do this first, actually. I'm going to do a building here, and this is prob, is that going to be too big? Maybe I should do it like, in fact, because I'm going to be coming out here with the build anyway, that doesn't matter too much. So what I might do is just bring it back one there and go across there. Do I want to... I might keep it that big, actually. This is going to be the kind of backstage dressing rooms, sound like thing, like where I'm going to be putting loads of the sound objects. And how annoying is this tree like creeping over into the lot as well? They keep doing that, Sims team. Can you not? Can you only give us a bit to build on? Can you also not build on our lots as well, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. So this here, I'm not going to do this double story. I'm going to do another circular roof on top of this and almost make it look like a, not a trailer, but just like a little hut, a little separate hut that is kind of separate to the main kind of like theater area, which is going to be here. I'm going to do the theater probably three stories high, so it will be a lot higher than this. But maybe the top level I just do in a short height. Um, but yeah, we'll carry on with that. We will. We'll carry on with it. How are you all? How are you doing today, my darlings? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Friday to you. I hope you're doing okay. World's a bit shit again, isn't it? Well, it's been shit for a long time now, but it's just it just feels a bit shitter <laughs> for some reason. Um, with the UK and the threat of a second wave and whatnot. I don't really enjoy talking about it, but it's happening through the world. So why don't we talk about it? You know, uh, that, it is a little bit daunting thinking about that prospect of having to go into a second lockdown, but we'll, we've all got each other. So if we do, we've all got each other. So don't worry. We're all going to be here together. I will help you lock down. I will help you lock down if we do again, my loves. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, I think using like this brick as well looks really cool. I, I was debating on using the brick on the actual um, kind of like theatre area as well. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we'll see when it comes to it. OK, so I do want to use this same, but not in that colour. I'm just going to do a nice silver. Or just a silver top for this. Yes. So this is kind of like their little dressing areas. We'll do like a little stare moment out here as well okay yes and it's going to be connected like the theater is going to be connected in with uh the uh dressing area the dressing area and the sound like storerooms and whatnot but um but yes very nice very nice indeed now i think all of the foundation is derped out it has why do you ask because Sims, that's why. I don't know why it keeps doing this, but I don't enjoy it. I really don't. There we go. Stunning. Okay. I'm not going to do these on stilts. I'm going to use maybe just this grey stone here. Yeah, that should be fine. And I might just put it there as well. Yes. And here? Oh, I don't think that's going to work because this is on a foundation. I kind of wanted to put a fence piece there, but I don't think. Oh, damn. I haven't got me. I haven't got me bits and bobs on, have I? Content. Live edit and debug. If you hear snoring, it's blue in the background. I'm not farting. Um, hmm. Blue. You're very loud. Hmm. I mean, I wish there was a smaller piece like that. I really do, to be honest. So I managed to find a small piece, not really matching in with it, but just something that's going to stop kind of there. Sims might still be able to walk through it and stuff, but it should be fine. It should be fine. I'm going to put some hedges and stuff here anyway, I think. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a little platform here as well. Um, 
So that will probably be the kind of last parking space there. We're going to get some cars out. And, uh, oh, is that going to take that away? Oh, it does, you bastard. You absolute bastard. Right, I'm going to draw you. I'm going to draw you on. I'll just cover that over. Shall I do that? Throw out all of them? Yeah, but great. Let's do that as well. Stunning. Oh, Christ. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. We're going to put lots of like petrol stains on the car park and stuff. We're going to make the car park look very, very tired and old. A bit like myself, to be honest. Right. Um, Just some brick here. Let's get down to this level. Let's get down to level. Turn the grid off and use this brick. Yeah, but I'll face it this way. And then we're going to put a little staircase. Do I want to do the stairs there? No, I kind of want to do them on the side, but I did really want to fit a dumpster in here somewhere. And I think... Let's pull the stairs out that we're going to use anyway. I think about using... Can't intersect fences? What? What are you on about? What do you mean? There is no... Oh, right, okay. It's because of that asshole. What about if I did the stairs like on that direction then? Oh, that... Oh, I don't like those stairs with it, I don't think. I don't think I like those stairs with it, darlings. So I might just go for a plain concrete one. I kind of thought those stairs fit in. Oh, there we go. There's concrete ones. And then I can put that on the side. They are the wrong color, though. Do we have a better color? Really don't enjoy that foundation either. So I'm thinking maybe changing the foundation for a flat. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's better. And then that blends in okay now. Right. I don't think the dumpster is going to fit in here because the dumpster is quite large. But. Oh, no, it does. Oh, sexy. There we go. Oh, you can slide right in. I'm sorry. That was, that was unnecessarily filth. Right. And I want some graffiti on you, darlings. Oh. Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right, and then the door that I think would work well here is that door from Get to Work? Is it from Get to Work? Let's have a little goosey goosey goo. Get to Work. Yeah, this one here, but not in that color. Oh, green. Yeah, green's fine. All right, let's get that up. Yes. And I think the windows, I used a couple of these kind of jailbird lament windows here. I think these would work here really well. Um, yeah, oh, all these actually. Need to remember this was kind of an add-on. Uh, so it's a lot of a much newer building than what the rest of it would be. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of do. And we need like a little bit of signage up there, but we'll get to that in a bit. We'll get to that in a bit. Okay, right. I'm going to start making the uh, car park look a little bit r rotten, shall we say. Green? Not so much green, darling. More brown. More brown, sweetie. And I'll start doing a few more. Let me size that one down. Like so. Oh, God. Why don't you go down then? Oh, there we go. And maybe one by the bin would look stunning. <laughs> I'm saying stunning while adding, like, poo stains on the carpet. Carpet? Floor. Yes, bit of that. Bit of that. Newspaper? Mm, doesn't really... Uh, maybe. Maybe newspaper? Eh, why not? You know? Why bloody not? And I'm going to add in a few more of these, like, rub... I like the, like, broken down stuff. Yeah. We'll add a few more of these sort of pieces. Ah, oh, maybe not there, though. Maybe these could go onto the side of the build. Just to make it kind of look quite run down around here. We'll do all the terrain paints and stuff there. Because this car park is still going to be used. Yeah, it's run down, but we don't really need to make it look like, you know, abandoned as such. But just maybe a few little, like, piles of crap here and there, you know? You never know. And maybe, yeah, just a few of these rubbish bags, like, by the bin. I still want them to be able to use that bin, so I don't really want to block it too much. But, like, maybe, like, down there. Yes. Yeah, that's cute. That is cute. 
Maybe just a few like pieces. Oh, no, not you, darling. Trying to find, look at me, trying to find the right rubbish to use. That's not the right rubbish. Oh, yes. Something like this, which would look like they maybe come out here to do a bit of the set design, set work. <clears throat> yeah, I like that idea. I do. I like it. Okay. Well, that's came in, come, come along quite nicely. There needs to be a sign up here. Where did I get this sign? Let me have a little goosey. Oh, so it is just a normal one. Maybe, maybe we could put the prawn one up there. <laughs> I'm adamant about using that prawn. I really am. But, um, what's this? Oh, that's the tree. That's the tree. Let me find something. Give me one second. So I ended up going for this sign here from Dine Out. Um, and then I put on a nice little industrial vent. And then a signage to sort of say, like, kind of staff only. So people won't go into there unwillingly. And I think what I'm going to do is add in a little fence detail just around this bit here. Just there. Oh, I really wanted to go there, but it's going to cut into there. Ah, oh, that doesn't look bad. And we can just pretend it kind of ends on the vent. Yeah, no, that's fine. I probably will need to do a matching banister now. So I'll do that just there. Yes. Yes, that's better. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. We need some cars. Um, transportation. Even though we don't have cars in the game. They're very large. The car parking spaces are very tiny. But we're just going to add a few in. Doesn't really make sense having a car like that here. I would see more this being kind of Jerry's car. Look at the size of it. Oh, look at the size of it. So, yeah. <laughs> maybe Jerry can have a small car. <laughs> or maybe I could park Jerry's car here. Just off to the side. And he'll move it anytime that they're kind of... Yeah, that does look like a Jerry car to me. Does look like a Jerry car. And then maybe when, like, there's a showing on or he moves his car and parks it around the street or something and gives the people enough space to be able to get in and sort of park up if they want to. If not, they can park anywhere they wish. They really could. But I like that. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I'm just wondering, does this need any other kind of detail on it? Maybe if I could move this up here. I don't think I'm going to be able to add a trim on it. I might be able to. But I don't think I will. Jutting. No. No, but what I will be able to do is go into this. Get this one. And then add that. Mm, I think that's just the wrong colour. Maybe if I went a bit lighter with it. Or even grey. There we go. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Just a little bit more detail there, loves. You know, I might even add that up. I know, I kind of like it down there. Hello, I'm indecisive today. How are you? Welcome. Right. So let's get building the main theatre area. Um, we need to get the grid on for this because I need enough space for stuff. So this is kind of going to be backstage and the dressing area. So the main stage, I'd probably want to be maybe about... We need to add in chairs and stuff as well, but we're doing two levels of chairs. Right, if I can add this first stage seating and then we'll go up again we'll go to where that wall is there love flare um i didn't really want to go to there well maybe i don't have to let me have a little look uh i kind of want to which is a shame so this is going to be quite a substantial size but you need to remember most of this is going to be missing kind of from where the stage starts, you know? Okay. Do, you know, do I want to go up again? Or should we just keep it two? I think I'm going to keep it two levels. I don't want it to be too huge. And I'm unsure if I want to use this brick on it as well. Let me have a little look at this. Let me see. Oh, God, I've just done all of it. That is quite a flat. What about if I warm it up? Oh, there we go. That's the ticket. And I'm going to use this one on the uh, on this as well, I think. Which I might have to change the colour. 
is, is that gone? Did that even change colour there? What? Maybe I got rid of it. Oh, that does look nice. That does look nice. But I do... I'm sure I definitely picked a grey here, darling. There we go. Thank you very much. How dare you? <sighs> um... And for the bottom here, I'm going to pick a... Mm, can I use red on it? No, not that red. Not that red. Maybe the grey one. I hate the white trim on it. I wish the white trim would go away. I really do. Maybe I could use wood. Oh, yeah, maybe I could. Oh, yeah, we'll use the wood. we use the wooden torn for these parts. And this one. Yes. Okay. Oh. So it does look like a big concrete block on the back. But it's what we want, darlings. It's absolutely what we want. Right. So we're going to knock this out. And then what I'm going to try and do here is make a stage. I mean, a <clears throat> kind of balcony moment. Could I, like, circular that off? If I get rid of all of these, like so, I might be able to do it a bit better now. Okay, so. Does it need to be massive? What would the railing look like? I imagine the railing, because it's 1920s. We need to remember. This was kind of... We're going to try and make this look a little bit Art Deco. It doesn't need to look majorly Art Deco. But something, a banister. It would be quite simple in my head. It would be quite a simple banister. This is probably a good choice, but let me see. Um, It's quite ornate, isn't it? It's quite ornate. Maybe this one? Let me, oh, this one. Oh, that's the ticket right there. That's the ticket. My thoughts were, do I want to go to like, oh no, that's a bit too, we'll go to there. I'll come to here, there here and then down and then hopefully I can get this balanced that is balanced I think might not be but we're going to give it a good old bash my loves oh oh no that is balanced oh stunning and I'm going to get rid of this wall boosh you off my darling oh what just went on there oh it's okay I can sort that out in a minute boosh you down as well okay and then I'm going to go up here. I'm going to add in the ceiling again. There we go. Jean-Paul. Okay, that trim can absolutely do one. But we'll sort that out. Don't you worry about that. Now, I'm not looking for major realism. So any kind of like theatre person out there that are looking at me like, what is he doing? This is The Sims. It's not real life, okay? So you just need to calm your tits. <laughs> you just need to calm your tits down. That's all that you need to do. Yeah. Yeah, this is not too bad. This is kind of what I wanted. Now, I think on the inside, I do want to do some kind of dark panelling, but I don't necessarily. Let me choose some wallpapers and some floorings. Give me one second. So things have developed i've changed a few stuff around look at that bloody awful freeze in there we need to get rid of you darling would that disappear from the outside you bet your nelly it will um i'll show you in just a sec let me just try something here a sec nope that's still gonna creep through oh well we're just gonna have to get rid of that freeze or trim once again the sims 4 trims messing up everything in the game as per usual so, this is what I've ended up doing. So, obviously, this area had to change a little bit because the stairs in here, they just weren't working. We've done one entrance in just off to the side now. So, we've got a bit more space down at kind of the ground level. Excuse me. To be able to put in some seating so they can watch the staging. Now, the size of this, it doesn't really make sense, especially with the balcony. Like, you, the... To try and watch anything from up here would be quite hard. But we're just going to have to let our imaginations take hold, my darlings. Um, this is obviously going to be all of the staging area here. Oh, damn. We were using that brick, weren't we? 
Um, this is very confusing. This was very confusing to try and figure what I was doing throughout this whole process. Uh, but I don't know. I'm kind of happy with this. I'm kind of happy with how it's turned out. So I'm going to stick with it, my loves. I am going to stick with it. Um, let's use a bit more of this up here. So now instead they've got an entrance out in the kind of like saloon area to be able to get up to the rafters and watch the whatever play it is from up here. And this is obviously going to be the big backdrop stage area where we're going to use a lot of the set pieces and stuff from Get Famous, a lot of the um, kind of special effects things. But yeah, I'm happy with how that's turning out so far. Now, I'm just going to try and just see if I can just delete you. That there is really annoying. That's going to be that corner there, though, isn't it? We're going to have to hide that with maybe some ivy. <laughs> maybe some ivy, but the freezes were just... Yeah, they were being assholes throughout this whole thing. And it was very annoying. Very annoying indeed. Now, I'm thinking about doing another circular roof here. Just so it almost looks kind of like a... a not a film set, but... Along that kind of caliber. Let me see this. Yes, that will work. That will work. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Not that I'm religious in the slightest, but let's thank him anyway, shall we? Yes. Now, the problem is this is going to be a big, like, box on the back of this. But I kind of like it. I kind of look how, how, how it looks. <laughs> how it looks. But, um... What I'll probably do is kind of cover this in some, like, decorative pieces, some cracks and some ivy, maybe a lot of graffiti over it. Those kind of things. That is really bothering me. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick a bloody vent on it. That's what I'm going to do. Where is that big, chunky vent? Not you, my darling. There's another one. Um, Let me find it. There we go. I've hit it with two of the bastards. Ha, 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 ha. You won't beat me, build mode. You won't beat me, darling. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do probably two panels like this. I think so. Um, I'm just keeping this plain for the minute, like with the brick on the wall at the back and stuff. Maybe I'll change it with some backdrops and things. But for the minute, I think just keeping it in that way. Oh, for God's sake, what am I doing? I think it would be... You wouldn't want that seat, would you? <laughs> you can see fuck all. Really couldn't, but we're just going to pretend that this is raised up, maybe, at the back. I don't know. But, you know, limitations with Sims. It's hard to make things realistic sometimes. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. What should we do on the floor here? Maybe... Hmm. Maybe just some plain wood. Maybe just a plain wood. Oh, something like this, actually. Yeah, like this. Yes. Like that. Just a nice plain wood there. We're going to have a little entrance here on this side. I do want curtains. I would love some curtains. So maybe if I block these with the... Oh, do I want a brick? No, maybe wood. And then maybe they could... The panels could move or something. We're going to cover the wooden panels that we're doing anyway now with curtains. So I don't know why I'm being so fussy. But you know, Virgo. Absolute 100% Virgo. And that's all I can say on it, my darlings. All I can say. Now, these were the ones I wanted, I think. But what size to do them in? Oh, do we want to do red or do we want to do black? Sorry about the camera jumps, but it's because I've got floor missing and the game absolutely shits itself over it. No, I think the bigger ones look better. Let's do these. Like there. And there. I'm going to put them on the back as well. <gasps> Maybe I could do that and get rid of the walls I hate the fact that this is happening but maybe I could get rid of that wall and just move that along a little bit or even just tuck it behind it <sighs> like don't go on the wall don't go on the wall don't go on the wall oh stunning yes Yes, yeah, something like that. Something like that. I am now going to go above. I don't think that's going to show through. It might do. Uh, no, I don't know if it will. I was thinking about putting a fence up here just to act as a girder on top. Like a, like a rail. But I'll figure that out. 
Don't you worry, my pets. I will figure that out. Right, let's get that back up again, my darling. Flop you away. You're not invited anymore. You've been taking the absolute piss. And then I'm going to flop this just behind it here. Stunning. Oh, stunning. Yeah, well, I'm going to bring something out from Debug and do like a big like curtain rail maybe above it. Um, This is just a little bit wrong here. But I'm not going to be able to. No, we'll just leave it for the minute. It's fine. We'll sort that out later. We'll sort that out later. I think what I'm going to do is stop picking at the actual chairs for in here. I do want some like kind of rows of chairs. We need to leave like a gap around. So it needs to be almost like a square of chairs here. Okay. Right. Chair wise. Oh, this might be difficult to pick a chair that's going to kind of suit a theater. Give me one second. I'm going to find the perfect chair. I think these base game leather ones are going to lend itself quite well to this. Yeah, I think they will. I do think they will. So I'm going to use these. Right. I'm going to group. I might just do a full row at the back. Like so. God, they're very expensive. 500 smolians, darling. Right. I'll leave a gap like that. And then I'm going to come a bit further. I'm just going to keep them at default, I think. I'm going to keep them at default placement. Yes. And I think I'm going to do one more. One more row here. Like so. Lovely. Let's have a little look at that. Yeah, I think I will. Can I do another? No, I can't do another row there. I don't really want to anyway, to be honest. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay, well, we've got that going on. We're going to do some nice like things on the walls and stuff. Don't you worry about that. But I do want to put some span drawers up here, I think. I did try this with a freeze at the top, but the freeze, once again, poking out the absolute wall. And it was infuriating. It really was. So maybe... Hmm, I want it dark and red. Is there any, like, dark ready ones? No. What about... This is, like, white and red. No, it's very cartoony. I'm not into that. Oh. Oh, this might work. Oh, Jean-Paul. Oh. <laughs> um, maybe these? Let's try. We're going to try it. For science. For absolute science, my loves. All the way along. Please don't poke out. Oh, you dream. Let me have a look. Oh. Oh, I do think so. I, I'll need to put a pillar down here and there. But I don't think I'll, like, do too many. Maybe we could just keep them, like, maybe, like, one there. One there. We did the two there. Yes, maybe like that. Mm, I hate the fact that these don't have a bit of something. <laughs> but I'm just going to keep it that way. Yeah, I think that's nice. Is this the wrong fence? Have I got the wrong fence in here? That looks very light to me. There's supposed to be a dark version of this. Oh, I have. I've got the wrong bloody fence. What an absolute nightmare. Right, let's get the right fence going on there, please. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much. That's a bit better. Yes. And then up here, I'm going to do some more chairs. But maybe we could do like a... Almost like a couple's moment up here. You know, where we could put like chairs like... Nah, I just want to do rows. They're not going to be able to see anything anyway. <laughs> so, right. VIP seats. This is the... That's if the queen comes... We're not doing any boxes on the side or anything. I'd love to build a proper theatre one day and kind of make it look as realistic as I possibly can. I mean, I'm trying here, but we're limited on space and things. and It's, it's a bit difficult. It is a bit difficult. Okay, so we've got that bit over there. I may go a little bit further over this way. Not that any of these poor buggers can see anything, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that vibe. Kind of getting that vibe. Really am. What's glitching out there? Is it those there? Oh, well. I'm not really feeling those curtains now. 
<laughs> Give me one second. I'm going to see if I can find a better curtain. I prefer the dying out ones. I think the dying out ones just look a little bit more the red that we wanted to. Those like get famous ones kind of glow weirdly at the top and I'm not for it. So I'm going to I'm going to keep these here. Going to keep these here. OK, so we've managed to get a basic shape of this down. There, there needs to be details and everything put in here. There really does. But I'm going to concentrate now on getting kind of the backstage area planned out. So this is obviously where they're going to be entering the stage. So I might just keep this open. I might just keep that open there. Um, Don't pay attention to any of the... I'm probably going to keep that all brick actually. So maybe I'll do this on the inside too. And we could use this on the here as well. Okay. Um, we need to make sure. Let's go into Get Famous. And I'm going to find the makeup station. Because I can't remember how big we need it. Four squares. Okay, that's not too bad. Four squares. We're not going to bring TV or anything out. But I'm going to get as many objects as I think it would need. Mix Master Music Station will need that. Um, the Plum Bob Special Effects. Oh, does that go right up to the top there? Oh, it does. Oh, of course it would. Yeah. Oh, stunning. Here for that. Not going to get TV like cameras out. Not at all. Whatever that is. A celestial current. A microphone. We need one of them. Ooh, uh, oh, oh, at the bloody size of it. I mean, I don't really want that. I want more of the decoration thing going on. Like the set pieces. My God, look at the size of it. It's a fucking town. It's an absolute town, my love. I'm sure there were some smaller ones. They are very big. Maybe at the minute they're doing like an apocalypse. We're going to do the stage styling on Monday and stuff. We're going to do a big stage set. Maybe we could do like an apocalyptic theme. Because they've got lots of those objects. And the world is in a bit of a shit at the minute. So maybe it would make sense to do an apocalyptic theme. Oh god, they're very large though. For such a small stage. But we could size them down. I mean, we could size them down. Hmm. Choices. 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 Oh, I do love this object. But it is. Look how big that is. It's very large. Very large indeed. Well, we won't be using that one. But maybe we'll do like an apocalyptic stage. Maybe that's the latest play that they're doing. <gasps> I like that idea. I really do. Okay, so backstage. This is going to be a dressing room here. I'll maybe make the dressing room a little bit bigger. Just so we can fit multiple things in there. Um, I'm going to do some windows, but first off, I want to get everything kind of planned down. I've got toilets here as well, by the way. There is two toilets for the staff, but we will do a toilet for um, the uh, toilets for the patrons. And we will do toilets for the staff over here as well. So makeup styling area. We'll do a small toilet here like there and then... I think what I'll do is block this area off here and put a door here. And this can be their kind of hangout spot because it's right near the back. Yeah, I like that idea. We're going to use this brick all the way through here as well. I enjoy that. I really do. Yes. And then... Oh, I kind of wanted a, a staging area. Maybe I could do that like behind the curtain, you know? Where they're in charge of the lights and whatnot. That's very close to the people there that they'd be able to see. But we're not going to let that come between us, my loves. Not at all. Yeah, I think that's a nice layout. I think that's a nice layout. Obviously, we need to detail all of this up and stuff soon. We'll do all of that on Monday. And um, this is obviously going to be their residential spot. So I need to make sure that this is kind of floor planned to be able to cater for eight sims. Some of them are going to be, well, seven sims, one dog. Um, some of them are going to be sharing rooms and whatnot. But um, yeah, I kind of like that idea. Okay, well, we've got this floor plan sorted out here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start getting some details um, on the outside of this big 
brick block that we've got going on now. What is that? Oh, right, okay. I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, there we go. Oh, grrr. right, so we need some windows coming on this joint. So we've got a little toilet there. We've got a beauty room there. How? Mm, we'll put you at that height. We'll do two of these. Need as much natural light in there as possible, really. Really. And then uh, the toilet can have one of these on it. But let's try and match in. Yeah, like that. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Okay. Okay. Right, we're going to start giving this some personality now. So what I want to do is give it cracks galore. We all love a good crack. <laughs> Very disgusting. Disgusting. Right. Yep, yeah, like along there, all the way down to there as well. I'm going to try and make this look as art deco as possible. Maybe putting some details on it just to give it that vibe. But, uh, yeah, it was just built in the 20s. Doesn't necessarily have to be art deco. But that was the area, really, wasn't it? Area? Era. Yes, what other, like, brick things can we use here? That won't make sense because you wouldn't have plasterboard behind brick, my darling. These here would look great. Definitely. Um, will any of the stains show up on the brick? That is a question. We're going to trial it. What's this? Oh, God. It's going to start flagging it as CC. No, we don't want that. Scratches on the wall. What was the... What are these? What are you... What are you? Seriously, nothing to see. Oh, it scratches. <laughs> So it's obviously, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so it's like, obviously, no idea. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a few of these stainages all the way along as well. I like that. Do a few smaller ones here just for realism. Yes, obviously, we're going to get some graffiti out on all of this too. So we'll do all that before we leave today. We'll just get this looking haggard, to be honest with you, my darlings. Absolutely haggard. Haggard, right? And because these are vents, maybe putting some of these behind it is that, yeah, that is right. Like putting some of these one at the bottom and maybe a couple down the there. Where's the other one? Yeah, and we'll size one of these up as well. Yes, yes, this is getting a vibe now. This is getting a vibe. I can't really see these cracks. Let's try a different better lighting. Hmm. No. Um, no, whatever. <laughs> that will do. We'll just make the crack bigger. <laughs> oh, I'm so fed up with my filth. It's disgusting. Oh, oh yeah, maybe a bit, bit some of you. Oh, there we go. The darker one. Oh, it comes in a, quite a few swatches. I don't really change much, but... I mean, I prefer that crack. We'll do this one around here. I prefer that crack. Like, you have a preference to crack. <laughs> what a lovely crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, we'll do that one around there as well. We're going to do a big bit of graffiti there. Um, but so far, let's just, let's just get this cracked right up. Right up. A few more of these around here as well. Right, I need to get down to this level because it's annoying me now. There we go. Um. Yep. I mean, they don't, don't really make sense either, but oh well. Right, we're going to frame, we're going to carry this one along like so. Big old crack. <laughs> All the way along. Oh, that crack is massive. Look at the size of that crack. <laughs> Aiden, stop it. You're very rude. Very rude indeed. Yes. Yes, this is starting to happen. I'm going to size this one up now. The meeting of the two buildings. There we go. A few more of them. Lovely. Got to get some water stages going on here as well. In the dark. 
Yeah, we'll put you there. Gonna do some more vents and stuff on the outside here too. Uh, size one of them up again. Cool. I want some more like ob like objects like this with all of the scratches and like maybe some broken windows and stuff as well. I know there's some custom content out there like that. Um, I think Peacemaker did a a variation of that at one point. Um, yeah, I would love to see more of this. I would love to see more. I really would. Right, and we're gonna do a, one of these up here on the roof line. And we need to do a lot more of these around the top because this is where the water would kind of gather, really, realistically thinking. Metaphorically speaking. <laughs> what is that from? The Mask. The Mask. I should have did a name that film, shouldn't I, then? Name that film. <laughs> um, what is that? Didn't even know that existed, to be honest. Maybe it's a debug item. There we go. Yes. Okay. Where's that other one? There we go. You keep getting left out, don't you, darling? Water stain keeps getting absolutely left out. Bless him. Yeah, just to make it look a little bit more regular. Stunning. And the same with these, just some water stains just around the top edges. That one's coming off a bit there, love. There we go. And maybe around the pipe edge. Oh, yes. Around that pipe, my love. No idea why I put a big pipe like this in, but you know, je ne sais quoi bleu. What can you say? Um, Let's get some more of these bad boys. I do want some more industrial things on the outside here. That's for sure. Yes. Um, I think I need to go in to get to work to get most of this. Here we are. Um, where are those big... Yeah, these. Maybe I could put one of these on here. That kind of filters out all of the, the farts from the audience. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Stunning. Stunning. So where's that big pipe? Right, there's that big pipe. I am going to put an industrial kind of vent here. Just so we can pretend that that's kind of dragging air out or something. Just, again, for realistic purposes, my loves. Realistic purposes. And the same here, because that has got a vent on the outside there. What? All right. Um, and we'll put another vent there. Yep. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Oh, yes. Right, now let's get some graffiti. Oh, I need to find... There was another graffiti besides the one from Get Together, which I always play with. So let me find that. There we go. I've put this here. I just thought maybe the community come together or one of the creative kids in here went and did this mural. And I've also put some more just graffiti just all over the back here. Still need to do some terrain painting around here. And some more details and stuff, like some rubbish piled up and things, I reckon, around the skirts of the building itself. But I think that Mary's, considering it is a big brick block at the back of it, I think that's kind of married in quite well to the actual building itself. I love that. So, yeah, obviously, next time we're going to be getting in, we're going to be doing the stage. I'm going to be detailing the more of this. I want more kind of like corbels and stuff up here just to make it look a little bit more elaborate. Getting the lighting sorted up here too. Um, yeah, but we'll do all of that on Monday. We'll do all of that on Monday. And then we'll follow on through the week. We'll start doing the residential bit. But um, I think it's coming together. I do enjoy how it looks. It's looking realistic to me. Um, and I'm here for it. Thank you so much for coming today, my darlings. Um, I'm really enjoying this build. I'm, I feel full of creativity again, being in a new world. Um, and just having more realistic characters, it's allowing me to get a bit more creative. There's blue down there, by the way. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm excited. I'll be back on Monday with the next part of this. As I said, that's what we'll be doing, what I've just mentioned. Um, I'm live on Twitch tonight as well at 7pm BST, playing chapter or a bit more of chapter two of Tell Me Why. So if you do want to come along, look at Blue. I'm going to tell him he's good. Blue, 
Do you want to go for a walkies? <laughs> Do you want to go for a walkies? I'm going to take him out now. Come on then, let's go. Come on in. Let's go walkies. <laughs> Obviously, I need to take this little one out now. Have a lovely weekend, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for Speed Build Saturday. Might be out a bit later than usual. But until then, goodbye.